Today I took half of my day just to sit back here in the park and at the beach to just think about my business. No computers, no email, just think, am I going in the right direction? And I can't stress how important that was because I realized that I'm running in the wrong direction. I want to share with you why I took the time to do it. And last week I, I just, uh, had a talk with my coach Rob and he asked me, what are your plans or what are your goals for Q3 of 2018? Now, I never used to think about goals in, in quarters. I have my yearly goal, which I share here multiple times, 300K in my business by the end of the year. And I never thought about what, how to achieve that in the next three months. I used to think either you know tracking my monthly uh, progress, which I've shared a few videos ago, and also you know setting yearly goals. Never set quarterly goals. And then I also, during the weekend, watched a video by Sam Ovens, who's an entrepreneur. Check out his YouTube channel. Very, very smart. And he said that he just took seven days a week off to just rethink everything about his business. And a quote, people like Bill Gates, uh, who always do that, and, and Jeff Bezos, and you know, a lot of smart business people do that. And I was thinking, wow, I really want to do that. But, you know, I have so much stuff to do. Even this week, I have so much stuff to do. I can't, I can't actually take a week off my business, which the moment that I realized that, I knew that something was wrong. If I can't take a week off my business without everything goes wrong, then it means the, the problem. And so because everything is in motion and I can't take a week to think, I took a half a day, which is what I could, but still I had major insights. And one of them was that I've set up my goal. Um, I set up my goal for 300K, but I, the, the way that I wanted to do this, and I also discussed this on my call with Chris Doe, if you happen to see that, is because I wanted to not only make the money, but also free up time so that I can work on Prospero and, and invest in myself, you know, and in my product business. And what I saw from working on that goal with my coach and trying to, you know, delegate and build system for lead generation is that, that I'm starting to build an agency which will help me to get to the 300k goal but is not going to free up my time. There are so many things that are going to take a lot of my time and that time goal of mine is not going, not going to be solved. So I'm going to have a business. It's going to make a lot of money, it's going to be systemized, but it's still going to take a lot of my effort and I won't have enough time to build you know, my other business prosper. Once I realized that, I, I understand that I have to stop and rethink is the best way to get to free time and this revenue is by building an agency because maybe it's not. And just a few weeks ago, I've announced the Webflow class and I started thinking about that, how big the opportunity was. You know, the pre-sale to the class went really well. There's a group of people really excited about this. And I'm starting this week, I'm starting to actually build the course. And then I said, maybe the best thing that I can do is really double down on this Webflow course. Make it the best possible, you know, course so that I can launch it officially in like one or two months and it will generate enough revenue, you know, and sustainable revenue because I'll create funnel and make this an ongoing you know recurring revenue for myself that I will need to take less clients I will still get design clients but I won't have to do this you know generate systemize my lead generation because I have inbound and that will be enough and so that will actually help me to, to free up a lot more of my time if I double down on the Webflow course do it the best I can create you know, partnership and distribute it really well in the upcoming three months. So that was a huge insight. So actually I've decided that I will probably not take on new clients during the, in the next three months so that I can really focus and do the best I can on this. Well, obviously this is just an insight that I have a few minutes ago. I'm going to <laughs> discuss it with my coach and with some other you know people I trust to get some feedback on that and see that I'm not going in the totally wrong direction. But I think that it was a huge insight and it's good that I took the time to stop because I was already, you know, so many things in motion in, in, in this build an agency role, which actually it was never my dream to build an agency. And I've said so many times that I'm not sure I want to go in that direction. It was just like the natural thing to do. So I'm glad I'm rethinking everything again and hopefully by the end of Q3, 
I'll have you know the same amount of revenue I wanted, but also much more free time. Hope you're gonna have a great week this week. I'll catch you tomorrow.